It's Wednesday, live back in Hong Kong. Continue, so that means I gotta start doing my coaching. I usually do one-on-one -on -one coaching back in Hong Kong. And that starts usually, you know, six o'clock, 6.30 a.m. So I'm done with my session today. I'm gonna do about one hour of strength work, and then I gotta get into the Starbucks so I can do some work. But what I really like is when I'm back in Hong Kong and I got my routine. So usually I would do about between two and three hours of coaching, of one-on-one on one coaching um, in the morning. Then I'll try and do about one hour of one or one and a half hours of my own training. Then by about 10.30, I would try and make it to Starbucks. I'll probably spend about five hours doing computer work doing a lot of the online coaching that I do and around 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon I'll do my second training session for the day I'll finish that off and then I'll have dinner and then I'll do a little bit more strength work go to sleep and do it all again so it is nice being back in my routine so now it's about 10.30 so it's about time to go and do some work in Starbucks I wish I had an office but Starbucks will have to do for now. I really don't know why it's still so hot. It's about 35, 36 degrees. And it's the end of September. It should really be cooling, cooling down by now. This is not good for my running. It just makes it so much harder. work I really don't understand how some people sit in an office for like 12 hours a day 10 hours a day 8 hours a day that was about six hours maybe five and a half and I can't wait to go for a run um, a lot of people ask me like how do you run so much when I run it's like my own time I can escape all the emails I can escape all those meetings you know I can just think about nothing and just enjoy being by myself. Here I am in Hong Kong where I live and it's pretty busy and then I can run for literally about 2k through the streets and I'm in the middle of nowhere and I don't see anybody for literally like two or three hours. It's my time to escape. So about a 30k run and hopefully I'm gonna try and get in about a 30k run. It's about 3.30 so I should be able to before it gets dark. When I put those big runs in, I got nothing to think about. I'm out there by myself, and literally I can zone out for like half an hour, an hour at a time, not thinking about anything. It's just me and the nature, and all I have to do is just put my right foot in front of my left foot and repeat that a couple of thousand times. So when I go running, it's like me escaping all this life that I'm living in a way all that all those bills and all the work that I have to do and other projects that I'm working with that I really enjoy I really I really like my work you know I'm pretty fortunate enough to be able to do this for a living but still it's kind of nice to just escape for a couple of hours a day or at least for one or two hours a day and I'm on the trails just thinking about nothing if you, haven't, if you haven't tried it, you should give it a try. That run was really hard. I managed to get in 30k 
but I really struggled. It was a little bit warm and I didn't take any water with me. So I really hit the wall at about 29k. So I saw a 7-Eleven just right next um, to that to a road that leads to my house. So I stopped and I had two cans of coke and then I finished that run. I'm just getting ready now. I'm gonna go and see my friend Eddie. Eddie's pretty much been my best friend for for the last 10 years. We went to high school together. We've spent quite a lot of time um, together in the last 10 years. But then we had like a little bit of a falling out last year, which was silly and we haven't seen each other for a whole year. But for the last few days we've been talking on Facebook and WhatsApp and, and I am excited to go and actually see him because I've literally had zero friends here in Hong Kong for the last year. So I am looking forward um, to doing some runs with him and spending some time with him. It's been silly, you know, I don't know what happened, but for a whole year we literally didn't talk and, and, and that's weird. I really don't know how that happens. But I am happy that, you know, we kind of worked things out and we're cool now and we understand that we both kind of maybe made a mistake and, and we both admit it and we're both sorry in a way so I'm happy that we can just move forward and be friends again. So that's definitely good news.